Okay, hello everybody. Uh, sorry about the fish tank in the background. So, Wish Team made a new game. Same guy that made Hero Havoc, same guy that made Project Pokemon. We made it just like Project Pokemon, but it's got doodles instead of Pokemon, because you can't have Pokemon on Roblox anymore. And I've been looking for some information in this game on how to get equipment, and I haven't really seen anything about it. So I figured I'd give you guys some info on how to get equipment. It's a very great way to increase your stats, and it's pretty easy, so I'll be going over in this video. How to get some equipment, you can see it increases attack. Some of them increase speed. So yeah, we'll be going over where to find them and the best place to farm them. Let's go. Okay, so before we go into actually where to farm these equipments and the equipment that can be found in the wild from farming, uh, I want to go over the stuff found in the main quest line and the storyboards and whatever, quest boards, storyline, whatever. Uh, you can first get the decorative katana very early on in the game from a weird fox lady that comes up to you, you battle her and you get this. Uh, you can also get the thingamajig from the quest line, I think. I think it's from the quest line because I haven't found it in the wild anywhere. Uh, it looks exactly like the beach ball, but it's obviously not the beach ball. Different stats, different name. A little weird. I've only caught three things that have the beach ball, so I know it's not from that. But uh, it's also the whatchamacallit, which I'm pretty sure is from the quest line. I have not found this in the wild at all. I've been farming a lot. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of these. I'm just trying to tell you what I know to help you farm equipment. Uh, mini camera. This is from a quest board or help center board in the quest and story in Graphite Lodge. You just help this girl take a picture and you get the mini camera. So that's pretty much it for like quest line artifacts and amulets and helmets. Only way you can get these is from the quest line. So if you wanted to get duplicates of these, you kind of have to go on an alt. But I do not encourage abusing alts because that kind of ruins the economy. Okay, the first piece of farmable equipment, at least I'm going in order of how easy it is to get, or I'm trying to go in order of that, uh, is the Amber Trapped Fly, which you find on Rosebug, so I think that's the easiest to get from the beginning after the questline. Uh, it's very easy to check with the magnifying glass to get equipment, it's very helpful for farming equipment when you have this. But if you don't, just catch a few Rosebugs and you'll probably get one of these. I just got this on my first encounter right now. Uh, it gives plus 20 speed, minus 20 health, so it's good on like fast attackers. You want to go first so you can kill them. And let me see if I have capsules here. Yeah, shouldn't be that hard to catch a rosebug, so this is a really easy uh, piece of equipment to get. But you also always want to keep a good amount of capsules on you to try and get this equipment when you're farming. Because you can't really like steal equipment with any moves or anything. But yeah, this is pretty easy to get, and it should boost your speed quite a bit. Okay, I also forgot to mention that Nibblin can have uh, the Amber Trapped Fly on it as well, not just Rosebug. The Amber Trapped Fly can be found on all Rosebug evolutions, and while you're farming Rosebugs on Route 3, you can also get another piece of equipment called the Doodad. Let me show it right here. I can get it. Doodad, 10 attack, 5 defense. It's pretty good. You can find these on Borpos in the same little area here on Route 3. So I will just run around here a bit until I can find one. Yeah. Uh, I ended up actually not finding a Burbo on my first encounter. I found a Glubby. Five star. But the sad thing is I have no capsules. Okay. Now this is not exactly what I was looking for, but you can also get the Magnificent Top Hat from Flitum, which is something that I was not going to go over just yet, but I found one. Uh, I would not recommend trying to farm for this, because it does take a while to find. Even with the magnifying glass, it took a few, like quite a few attempts with Flitum to find this. But you can get Magnificent Top Hat from Flitum, if you really want to get it. It's not very good though, in my opinion. But yeah, if you want to farm for that, you can. Okay, these Flitums are giving me luck or something, man. I just found a gold tin Flitum, I'm going to catch this real quick. But yeah, it does take a while to try and farm for uh, doodads and all the bird. Uh, equipment, so I wouldn't really recommend it. It takes a really long time even with magnifying glass to find one So I cannot imagine this being productive when you only have a no game passes and you just have to spam catch these birds over and over until you get it Okay, I am done farming. I mean I found a glubby. I found a tin. I found a top hat I just can't find a burbo with this thing So I just I wouldn't recommend farming this at all, but you're gonna have to just take my word for it. I mean I've even tried chaining these just to make it faster, I just can't find one with a doodad on it, but... Yeah, you'll have to take my word for it. If you don't trust me, then whatever. I don't recommend farming this anyway, because I'm going to be talking about the next helmet, which you should actually be farming because it is very easy to get and it gives good stats, so let's get into that helmet. Okay, the next piece of equipment I'm going to be talking about is the bowl cut. 
The bowl cut is found on Route 4, the place Route 4 Graphite Lodge. If you can't find a doodad, which is probably best for attackers because it has the 10 attack, you can't find one, which is very likely because it's really rare, you should be farming bowl cuts instead because, in my opinion, they are the easiest to farm. Uh, you get them on Route 4 from these little pigs here, Wigglets. So I'm going to be just trying to farm until I can find one. It should only take like two Wigglets before I actually find one, but it depends on how many pigs I'm going to run into. Alright, here we go. This is the first Wigglet I ran into in battle. And you can see with my magnifying glass that it does have a bowl cut. So this is one that I'd really recommend farming if you don't have magnifying glass rather than doodad and mysterious top hat for a helmet because this is very easy to get. And if you just catch like five of them, you're probably guaranteed to get a couple. Okay, the last portion of this video is going to be equipment you get from the Doodlepedia. So you see the Doodlepedia, you can get some items, some titles, uh, this is pretty much just for all the doodles in the game. You just do these tasks to get them, and if you are having a hard time farming the uh, amber trap flies, you can get them from Flidum's tasks here. You get three amber trap fly equipments. From Lipo's, you get two magnificent top hat equipments. From, where is it? Kitson, you get a glasses item, and the evolution of Kitson, you get two oakwood staff equipments. I'm not sure how to get this. I don't think it's in the game for uh, being obtainable yet. I don't think it's in roulette or anything. And from Appluff, you can get a beach ball equipment. Pretty sure that's all you can get from the Doodlepedia. Checking over just in case I missed any of them, but pretty sure those are all the equipments you can get. Hope you found this video helpful. Hope it was in depth enough for you. Uh, this is just all the equipment that I know from what I've farmed. I mean, I've farmed like almost everywhere on the map. The only place I can really imagine I haven't farmed is the sewer. But I haven't really found anything in there with equipment on it before. So I'm pretty sure this is all the equipment in the game. Hope you guys found this helpful and you can use this. Boost some of your stats on your things. And yeah. That's pretty much it. See you guys.